Welcome viewers, it is uh, my pleasure to welcome you to episode 13 of this live chat on this channel, WCCRN Music Ministry Worldwide. We've come a long way in this uh, live chat, we've had 12 episodes so far, within which we have uh, considered reading, looking at stick notations, and uh, we've also looked at reading names, then hand signs, and we have considered several exercises based on these topics. Today, considering that music is is written, is, uh, we have what we call musical notes. We are going to move forward to beginning to consider music writing and music reading in order to, to drive home some of the lessons we have had. And so, in this uh, coming two episodes, we shall be considering music writing. So, we are going to talk about the staff, the staff. As we know, the staff consists of five lines and four spaces. And these lines are described on the board. We have chosen to begin with a C. C. Not really because C is the first letter of the, of the musical alphabet, but because it is a choice. We decided to start with C. Music is, uh, is uh, based on uh, on seven letters drawn from the English alphabet. And if I start with C, I would have C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. The, 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 the top C being a repetition of the first. And so, the staff is uh, consisting of five lines and four spaces. And each of these five lines are named, each of them is named according to these letters. You could see beginning from the what we call the middle C, the middle C is the first detached line under the staff, followed by the D, then the E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, and F. It is important to view these letters of the staff and uh, know where they appear, how they are written, where they are written, the position they, where they occur, and to know it, and to just to know it, memorize it, and let it become part of you, let it form part of you. So, with, uh, uh, on this note I want to welcome our student today. Victoria, you're welcome. Thank you. Now, I want you to take a look at the staff. If possible, I want you to photocopy it. Let it be in your head. I wouldn't say memorize, but it is expedient to know where the lines and the spaces fall. From C, read with me, C, as you read, please. Note where the position that C, that is C, 
and also know the position where the D is. Now from here, C, D, then E being the first line, F being the first space, G being the second line, A being the second space, B being the third line, C being the third space, and then the D being the fourth line again, the E being the fourth space, and the F being the last line, the fifth space. Very, very important to know this. And this picture, you must practice. I told us, you, we cannot do without practice. Practice is uh, the key. You must practice to be able to form the image in your brain. So, with what we have seen, we are going to practice with some few exercises from our practical exercises. Book one. We are going to look at exercise number six. Exercise number six. Now, exercise number six, Victoria, can you sing exercise number six based on this key? Take a, take a cue from here. Can you sing if I give you the, the, the steady beat? One, two, three, and sing. Let's can you take it a little bit more slowly and consistent. One, two, three, and sing again. Thank you very much. I haven't sung the that exercise with song fanatician. Can you please, can you sing it with reading names? Let's just uh, uh, rewind a little what we have done. Reading names. No. One, two, three, and sing. Very good. You remember we we talked about hand signs, hand signs. Can you do that exercise slowly with hand signs, singing the sofa and showing with hand signs? Yes, can you? Very good. Thank you very much. Now, back coming back to singing on Sido. Sido means that we are taking our cue, our prime note, from C. The prime note, the foundation note, or we can also call it the tonic from C do. Remember I told you that C is just we decided to start from C. Music can't start from anywhere. There is no, there are no rules when music starts. It depends, it's choice. You can decide to start with C. But we decided to start with C. So from C do, C being the first, the, the first detached line under the star. Of course we can bring the star downward, extending it by Short, short lines to accommodate the music we are performing or writing. So, now, 
with what is on the board, with what we have seen, you have seen the, the lines and the spaces. Now, I want you to sing that exercise with uh, absolute names on CDO. Sing the exercise, please sing the sulfur once and then sing the next with absolute names on CDO. Very good, impressive, impressive. So, uh, we, I want to encourage, if you will be able to form, to, to do well, using absolute names, you can only achieve that by practice. Let's take another exercise, exercise number 14, from the same practical exercises, one, exercise number 14. These exercises are drawn from Kudai, from Kudai um, exercises written for intonation. Can we, can we sing exercise number 14, solver and absolute names? Now, we take exercise 14 based on this key, 14. Absolute names in C do. challenging because we are just doing it without prior practice and that is how it should be singing singing without having to practice it the first you understand and that is that is one of the skills that is one of the things you need to you need to do to challenge yourself okay so once again can you do it with absolute names again so let's take it again Three, one, sing. practice exercises 19 and exercises 20 on CDO. And we're going to see that in our next class. Please always practice. Viewers, the exercises are, are posted and you can take your time and practice them 
and improve yourself in on this topic music writing and music reading especially music reading because we are training on how to read music faster and the intonation so thank you very much for attending this this uh, live chat today on this channel WCCRM Music Ministry. So subscribe to our channels, ask your questions please, send your comments and we shall appreciate it. Thank you for coming.